Hi everybody, PJ here, and uh, I've just had somebody knocking on my door from DPD, and they've fetched me a, a parcel from Martin Lynch and Sons, and guess what? It's a new radio, yeah! Right, like I say, I'm not really into unboxing videos, but this is something new that uh, I know absolutely nothing about. Let's get the box open and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right, so let's get this parcel open and see what's in it. I'm very excited now. Rubbish, chuck that in the bin. More rubbish, we'll chuck that in the bin. And here we are, look. It's the Anytone AT hyphen D168 UV so it's got satellite function digital and analog recording 10,000 talk groups with 500,000 digital contacts and it's DMR I've got absolutely no clue how to use this uh, I'm gonna have to have a word with my good friend Scott because he's into programming all these things uh, <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's just going to be sat there on my uh, on my desk in the uh, radio shack, or as the missus calls it, the kitchen. Right, let's get a little bit more open, shall we? Let's have a look what's in here. Now, normally, I've got a a manual here. Now, normally, these get chucked in the bin, but. This time, it's not going to get chucked in the bin. We have a nice little handset. Look at that. Isn't that nice? There we go. So, we've got that. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Got a, a nice antenna and I'll leave that in the cellophane for the moment a belt clip now then let's have a look ah it looks like this belt clip actually clips onto the back of the radio not onto the battery which is good so we've got that and that let's get rid of that bag we have a cable now I'm assuming this is not just a charging cable but a programming cable as well. We have a desk tar charging unit that is USB-C. Can you see that on the back? So that's good, we'll stick that there. Oh, we're doing well, we've even got a charging plug. Look at that. A lot of radios nowadays, you don't get a charging plug with it. But with this radio, we've definitely got one. So we pop that there. Oh, look. A little stubby antenna. That's got to be a little bit more convenient than the great big uh, whip antenna. And that's my radio going in the background. I'm just going to go and turn that off. There we go. It's off. Right, so, we have one battery. Got no nails so I can't get into it, there we go. So let's have a look, this is a 1800 milliamp battery. There you go, can you see that? Nice and slim, that'll fit on the back of the radio, we'll put that there, and look what else we've got. We have 
another battery. Let's see if we can get this one open. With all that rubbish. And this time we have a 2600 milliamp battery. Let's have a look at them side by side. So it is uh, quite a bit bigger, or thicker I should say, it's not bigger, because they both have to fit on the same radio. Let's just pop one of these on. There we go, it's on. Booting, please wait. So I need to calibrate the date and everything else like that. I think that date's slightly wrong and the time's slightly wrong. But we'll sort all that out in a bit. Right, so that's the radio. Look at that. Nice, small, comfortable in the hand and uh, extremely complicated right so let's have a quick have a look around the radio we've got in here if i can get it open once again i've got no fingernails ah oh, there we go it opens sideways so we've got uh, a usb-c charging and programming port and got the usual kenwood style um, programming port Let's just close that out. We've got a, a green menu button, I would imagine, and a red exit button. Nice keypad. On the keypad, we've got various functions written on there as well. On this side, we have a, oh, a very nice PTT button, and we've got what looks like two programmable programmable buttons there it is a SMA mail on the top and we have two dials one is obviously the uh, on and volume and I don't know what this one is yet but we'll figure that out in the very near future right so that's the radio am I going to put the belt clip on I don't know have we got a oh hang on have we got a strap in here? No, no strap. So, there you go. I don't use straps anywhere, I don't like them. In fact, we haven't even got anywhere on the radio to connect a strap by the look of it. Oh, there is just there, look. So you can put a strap on if you want. Right, right, so that's the unboxing of this cracking little radio. <laughs> I say cracking, I ain't got a clue how to use it. I don't know how to program even the FM channels in, never mind about the digital ones. So it's going to be a very, very steep learning curve for me. But I'm sure we're going to get there sooner or later. Oh, just one thing I've not done yet. Hang on a minute. Oh, very satisfying. Right. So if you're interested in learning a bit more about this radio as time goes on, let me know. Please give me a thumbs up, please share, please subscribe, and I'll see you there in the next one. Bye, everybody. See you soon.